guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new vlog. I'm here today with Lola to take you on a really cozy little autumnal day out. So I'm really excited because I'm going to go apple picking with my mum. It's something that was added to like my autumn wish list kind of bucket list of things I wanted to do this year and I know it's quite a big thing to do in America and I don't really see anyone in the UK doing it so I thought it'd be fun to do it. I found a local farm to me in Malden and I can't wait to go there and pick some apples. They also have the best apple juice there as well so I'm going to pick some up and then maybe just pop to some farm shops locally and get some nice bits and pieces. There is nothing better than food fresh from the farm shop. It's just absolutely delicious so that is what we're off to do in a second. My dad is going to look after this little rascal right here. So she's all safe and looked after today, my little cutie. This whole vlog is going to be just really wholesome and cosy and perfect for autumn. Finally today, it actually does feel like autumn again. It's cold, it's crisp, it's windy, the sky is grey. And I feel like I'm probably one of the only people that actually admit it. Most people are like, yes, that the sun's out, but I just really get disappointed every morning I wake up and the sun is beaming and it's bright. I'm just like, oh, another day of heat. Um, so today I'm feeling quite happy that it feels cold and it's meant to rain over the next few days, which brings me so much joy. Honestly, it really does. Later on in this vlog as well, I want to paint some little pumpkins. So I went to Pumpkin Patch last weekend and I got some little pumpkins and I really just want to have like a paint and sip night, painting some pumpkins, painted some canvases as well. And I've got some little pumpkins pumpkin cookies and I want to decorate them so just like a really cute little decorating evening that I'm going to have with Jordan um yes yeah, so I'm just really looking forward to this vlog we were going to be making pumpkin soup in this video me and my mum love pumpkin soup every single year she makes it she does the best recipe but unfortunately today is not going to be the day just because some things have changed in terms of plans which is why I'm going out today and we're not doing that but anyway let's get going As you can see there were so many different varieties of apples every single row was a different type of apple and they were so helpful they talked us through the different ones and what ones would be best for baking and that sort of thing I got some lovely apple juice and also of course got some apples too they even had fresh vegetables as well they just had the best stuff then we went to the Great Bracted farm shop I highly recommend this if you are in Essex they have some gorgeous fresh fruit and vegetables, loads of local jams, everything is sourced within the area, like within half an hour. So you get some really lovely products and I got a load of stuff of course. I love going here and they also have lots of fresh food too, like pies and stuff like that, which is just oh, chef's kiss. Hi guys, I'm now home. Please excuse my appearance. I feel like I've lost a bit of makeup. Also, I'm on my other camera and I just hate it. Um, I need to get a replacement for my Canon that broke the other week. Um, yeah, please excuse the camera if you don't like it. You probably don't even tell the difference. But yeah, I went to the um, apple picking place, which is only open for another week. So if you're in Essex, then I definitely recommend you take a trip down there. It was really nice. So many variations of apples. They were so friendly and helpful as well. And they also sell apple juice. I did get like one of every apple juice to try. So the first one is called Spartan. And this is a medium apple juice in terms of the sweetness. And then the next one I got is Laxton Fortune, and this is a sweet apple juice. So this is from Damon's Hill Farm, and quite a lot of farm shops in Essex stock their apple juice as well. There were £3.50 each, or three for £10, and I did get six, um, because I gave my mum and dad one, and then I'm also giving one to Jordan's mum and dad too. And then the next one I got is called The Russets. 
This one is, I don't know what one this is in terms of the sweetness, but yeah, I got that one too. And then I got two of the Darcy Spice, ooh, maybe. I'm literally like balancing on the floor because there's nowhere else to put this camera. Um, but yeah, I got the Darcy Spice, which is a sweet one. And I think this one's really nice. Um, this one is also the same one I got for Jordan's family. And Darcy is actually where I went to primary school, so Thomas and Darcy. So yeah, I wanted to pick that one up for that reason as well. And then we popped into a farm shop, which was, I think it was called Braxton Farm Shop. It was literally like five minute drive, if that, from the farm. So it's like a really close location. And I got some bits and pieces, so I thought I'd show you them too. So I'm currently in the process of putting together that little care package um, for someone we know who has gone through surgery today, actually. So first thing I got was some crisps. These are the bacon and tomato flavor hand-cooked crisps. Then the next thing I got is this cherry and sultana cake. I thought that looked really nice. And this is from, yeah, Great Braxton Farm Shop. I thought that looked really good. Love the cake. And they have so many things in there and they make it all themselves. It's just so much nicer than going to like Tesco or somewhere like that. I also got a marmalade. So this is a medium cut orange marmalade by Mrs. Darlington's. Um, I thought the packaging on that was really, really cute. Sorry, I keep looking to the side. It's because the screen on this camera is to the side. Normally it's like on the top. So it's kind of hard to get used to. And then I won't get them all out of the bag, but I also got a load of apples as well. So, oh my God, they smell so good. So that isn't everything. I'm going to get a few more bits to bulk out the care package. I'm going to pop one of the apple juices in there as well. But yeah, I think it's just nice, just a nice little thing to do. So I'm going to make some bolognese soon. We're having spag bowl with um, corn meatballs. Really looking forward to it. I don't know if I'll bother filming it though, just because we've got people around soon. So I'm not going to have time to necessarily be on the camera, but I'll pick the camera back up when we have our cute little evening soon as well, like the painting and everything. I can't wait to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending today with me and I'll see you when I next pick up the camera. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's now Saturday. A few days has actually passed since I last was filming for the vlog. Um, I've just been working all week, so there wasn't really too much to show. And I wanna keep these vlogs nice and peaceful and just relaxing for you for autumn. So today is Saturday and I'm gonna have a really wholesome day at home today. We're gonna start by making pumpkin soup. Now, pumpkin soup is something that I have every single autumn, Halloween. I have done since I was a little girl. It's something my mum makes every single year and it's so, so good. I really wanted to film this part of the video with her. Um, we were planning on doing that when we went to the apple picking place, but the plans just didn't quite work out that day. So she's given me all the ingredients instead and told me what to do. So I'm going to be making it by myself for the first time and showing you guys what to do. And I'm really excited. It's honestly one of my favourite soups to have ever. It's so nice. Um, we do a few variations. One of them is just pumpkin soup. Another one is pumpkin and butternut squash, which is so nice if you like a bit more of a sweeter sort of taste. But yeah, it's so good. There's quite a lot of things you can add or take away. You can add some spices to it you can even add some nutmeg or cinnamon you can take them away it kind of just depends on your taste buds and what you like and what you don't like so yeah I'm gonna get started now and show you what to do it's super straightforward we just boil everything we don't bother roasting it we just boil it all in a pan with some stock cubes and some hot water for about I want to say like 45 minutes maybe it's very straightforward so I'll leave all the ingredients down below for you to check out as well and also I'm so sorry about the camera guys I keep moaning about it but I really hate this camera I'm on my Sony vlogging camera and I just really don't like this camera I hate how it makes me look it's just so weird yeah I need to buy a new camera this week so hopefully the next vlog I do will be on a better camera again because this one is not it in my eyes. I really don't like it. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I'm just finished up filming a reel for Instagram of some H&M new in pieces. I wasn't going to bother doing a YouTube video because I keep pumping out the H&M hauls because they're just so excellent. Like they are so good at the minute. I literally love H&M. So I thought, what the hell, let's just include a little H&M haul in this vlog because I've honestly found some amazing things and I want to tell you about them. I want to, like they're so good and I could not recommend them enough, honestly. We're gonna start with the items I'm keeping and then we'll move on to the things I'm gonna be returning because I can't keep everything, but yeah, the things I'm keeping, you need to buy. <laughs> okay, so knitwear for me is something that I struggle with. I have eczema, I have sensitive skin, I get very itchy and irritated and I can't stand knitwear a lot of the time. So the fact that I'm actually standing here right now in a loungewear set and I am so comfortable. Like I wore this yesterday and I wanted to sleep in it. I didn't, but I wanted to because I was that comfortable and cozy. It's a miracle, honestly. So H&M have the best knitwear in my opinion. Like this year, I don't know if they've always been this good, but this year I fell in love with H&M. <laughs> I'm so passionate about it because I'm just so impressed. So this little jumper right here, I think it was, whoops. <laughs> I think it was something like $12.99. It was really, really inexpensive. It was definitely under £20, which, you know, for a really nice quality cosy jumper, I think that's not bad at all. So I got everything in a size medium. The colour of this is just stunning. It's that gorgeous, like, taupey shade. So pretty. It's mauve as well. Like, it's got different tones that run throughout it. And I think it's called Mohawk. You know, it's kind of got the little bits of fluff that come off, but it doesn't, like... You know what, we're just gonna get rid of that hanger. <laughs> um, it doesn't like come off and go on your clothes or anything like that. This is the softest, coziest, beautiful little jumper I've ever owned. I love it so much. It's not too thick. It's quite lightweight, which is perfect for this like transitional weather before it hits proper winter. And if you buy anything from this haul, you need to buy this. Like I am so impressed with this, honestly. I can't stress it enough. It's so nice. I also got it in black because when I saw it, I was like, I think I'm going to like that. And I definitely do. I'm pretty sure they do it in a few different other shades too. But yeah, here is the black one. And you always need a little black jumper in your wardrobe. Just such a simple, easy piece to wear and to style. And I love the fit of these. Like the cuffs are quite wide. They just look so cozy and flattering on. You can wear these with jeans like I did. You can wear these with a little skirt, with shorts and tights and boots, all that sort of stuff. Perfect all autumn, winter so long even moving into spring so I am obsessed with these. Something H&M do so well is basics and I have been just ordering constantly on there for basics because a little top like this is just my favourite. It's a long sleeve, it's slightly cropped but not too cropped, cotton, well I think it's actually vis viscose I think is what it's called, um, it's a 25% recycled cotton and then I think it might be blended with viscose um, to give it that stretch. Um, but yeah, these are so comfortable on my skin. They're not see-through. I love the height of the neckline. Like I find these super flattering on my figure. The sleeves are quite nice and long, which I really like. The crop is just the perfect length. They're just perfect. I probably got this now in every single colour they sell it in and I've bought multiples of each one because I love it that much and they're literally like seven pounds each I think like 6.99 something like that they are so cheap for what they are I can't resist so yeah I think I've got like three white ones now like two or three blacks because I just wear these on repeat all autumn winter all year to be honest with you so get these as well a slightly different style that they did is this one because this actually has like ruching which I thought was just a nice little added feature. And this one has a slightly different sort of fabric. It's almost like a very, very, very tiny rib, almost like very, very tiny. You'd have to get your little microscope out. But yeah, it's slightly different fabric. I love the beigey tone of this. It's really pretty. Again, gorgeous neckline, super soft and comfortable, just perfect. Moving on to what I'm wearing, you won't see it much like this. You'll see it much better on the try on clips. I am just in love with this set guys, like this is so nice, so it's got a slit on the wrist, 
but then you also have slits up the side as well which I think just is really cute just like it's feminine it's cute I love it it's a wide rib I just I just think it's so nice like you've got stitching that kind of goes around like the cutouts it's so 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 soft like beyond soft this is the ultimate loungewear set for at home you might know that i work in finance a few days a week and yeah this is what i've been wearing this week when i've been sitting at my desk doing my little nine till five getting my work done just feeling so incredibly cozy like the leggings the trousers are so soft and comfortable and they're not restrictive or tight i just feel like i'm wearing pajamas but it's even nicer than that. Like, I feel like I'm being hugged by a cloud when I wear this. So if they bring this out in any other colours, I'm getting it. But I did also buy the grey. I'm going to pop that one on the screen. I have been wearing that to death as well. It's so nice. This is the best set ever. I think it's like maybe £50 or £60 for the whole set, which I know isn't super cheap, but you will get your use out of this. Like, I'm going to be wearing this to absolute death. Seriously. Like, I'll just be washing these and re-wearing them as my working from home attire and I feel really cute when I answer the door to the postman instead of being in my like ugly pajamas I can be in my cute little loungewear set this jumper right here is from a brand called weekday I think they sell it on H&M and this is the only one on this rail that I'm not 100% sure I'm going to keep just because it is quite spenny like I think this is like £45 um which for me is a little bit expensive for jumper so this one is ribbed it's a nice beautiful wide rib which is kind of what caught my attention when I saw it online and the sleeves are quite nice and wide as well it's kind of like a medium sort of length I probably would have preferred this either cropped or longer it's a bit of a weird awkward in between length um, just because I like things either like really oversized baggy or more crops like I'm not really an in-between sort of person so um I do love this like it's a beautiful color I think if they sold matching trousers that'd be a vibe like it would look so nice but because I'm keeping that v-neck one at the beginning like I love that v-neck one and it was so much cheaper so with this I'm like do I want to spend that money when I don't love it as much probably not so I think I'll probably be returning this one actually the last one on this rail a little sad rail now that's empty um is this jumper i'm pretty sure this was like 12.99 again might be getting these prices totally wrong but yeah i'm pretty sure it was really inexpensive it's just a plain black um like crew neck is that what you want to call it like crew neck jumper nice and baggy kind of wide slouchy really soft again super comfortable and cozy and yeah i'm definitely keeping this perfect addition to my autumn winter wardrobe i will link absolutely everything down below for you guys by the way if you want to shop any of these items if you don't follow me on instagram or tiktok already go follow me because i literally post reels and tiktoks every single day styling pieces like this and constantly bringing you the newness so go follow me on there onto the things i won't be keeping which are literally like two items is this little top right here this is the same as that ruched beigey one in the cream for some reason the quality of this one is just not there so this is going to be returned so yeah i wouldn't bother buying this one and then this jumper dress i got which i think is really lovely like it's a really nice color it's very soft again i like the neckline and it's quite a nice length i love the cuff detail with like the rolled up cuffs i think that looks really nice but for me it was a little bit too long i'm five foot three and I just i didn't find it very flattering on me so i'm gonna be returning it i'm not sure about this i might keep i might return i'm not sure i'm pretty sure i only paid like 35 pound for this because they have member deals sometimes and things are a lot cheaper when you get the member deals so i'm pretty sure this was really inexpensive it is a gray long coat that just has like a belt in the middle it's like a felt sort of fabric it's so heavy which i don't know if i like how heavy it is like it's gonna keep you warm but genuinely I feel like I'm lifting a, um, like a weight. So that's the only thing that's put me off this jacket. It's so, like, so heavy. Maybe you wouldn't tell that much, but when I put it on, I was like, mm, I do feel the weight of this. So I'm kind of on the fence, but I do need a long gray jacket and coat even. And, you know, it is gonna be warm. So maybe I just need to bite the bullet, just accept it and accept I'm doing a little mini workout every time I wear it. But anyway, that is the end of the H&M haul. The next time you see me will be when me and Jordan are having our cute little evening painting our um, pumpkins and stuff, which I can't wait for. Will we do that tonight or will we do it tomorrow? Part of me wants to do it in the daytime because I feel like it will, the lighting will be better for you guys. So anyway, I'll see you then. I'm excited. Um, I'm in a good mood today, if you can't tell. Guys, it is finally time for our little paint 
activity and I thought I'd show you what I've got for the occasion. So everything is from Home Bargains. I got this colour palette. Just I got one. I probably could have got two, but I thought we could just share one, have it in the middle. It's a cute little like flower shape. Oh no, sorry. I did get two. I lied. I got two. I didn't realise. Sorry, by the way, the dishwasher's going. Let me just pause it. Then I got some canvases. Now I'm very confused because I bought two canvases and I can't find the other one, but I'm assuming it will turn up in a second, much like that other palette that I didn't realise I got. Back here, I got these yesterday for Marks and Spencers. These are Freaky Frankenstein faces. I thought they'd be really cute to have. I did also get the Colin the Caterpillar, but like the mummy versions, but we ate them yesterday. Um, otherwise, I would have had them for it as well. Then on to paints. I just got a few because I wanted to keep it like more Halloween -y sort of colours. So I got this black one. These are all acrylic paints. I thought they'd work really well on canvas and also on the pumpkins. So we've got a black acrylic paint. We've also got a white one as well. Mix them together to make grey as well. That's what we want. And then finally, we have this nice burnt, like, orangey, browny sort of colour. And that with the white would make, like, a nice nude. And then, of course, we have my pumpkins, which we got last weekend. So we have these little white ones to paint each. They're really small, but I thought they'd be cute. And of course, we've got the canvases. And that, it doesn't stop there. We also have this Decorate Your Own Autumn Pumpkin Kit. This was £8.99 for quite spenny, but I thought this was cute because it comes with everything that you need. So we basically have these little cookies each. And then we have orange, green, and then white ice and pens as well so that'll be really fun have a little snack do some painting we're going to set it all up now i'll show you setting it up and then we can get started <music> Autumn comes too soon. 